What's up guys, Ewan here from Trading Walk and I want to show you how to use the new Trendpulse Pro for TradingView and I'm so excited for you to start using this and when you learn how to use it correctly you'll never have to use anything else again. So if we start from the left here and just focusing on this short, USD CAD, the 15 minute short, and I will talk about multi time frame analysis and many other strategies you can use to increase the win rate even more in other videos. But to keep this simple, in this video, I just want us to look at entry, stop loss, and take profit levels, and a strategy you can use to get good entries when the trend change. So looking at the left here, we see we have a buy signal here. And what I like to start with is I enter on the next candle. When the signal is generated, I place my stop loss below the signal, and then I draw a Fibonacci from the high to the low when we get the buy signal. and you see here that we're right at the 50% when we get this signal and um, our stop loss is at the 38.2. So this is very good. We place our take profit at the 127.2. So you see there how easily it is to find the entry, take profit and stop loss level. Basically, you always want the stop loss to be below the 50% when you go long and you always want the stop loss to be above the 50% when you go short on a sell signal and you place your take profit at 127.2. Now you see here that this turned out a loss and that's completely fine. You will have losses, but you see that this is so small compared to your profit if this would turn out a winner. So this is the key, keeping risk small, but your profits big. So risk reward here is maybe 2.5 or three. So that's very good. Now, when you see a failed signal, what does that tell you? Basically that the trend is changing. So if we have buy signals and then one fail, that gives you an indication that the trend is changing. So what I like to do, and this is a very smart technique and the reason also why I coded these signals to be a triangle is because a green triangle, the flat line is a support line. Uh, so when this buy signal fail, this support will become resistance. Support becomes resistance is a common and proven technical analysis technique and it works very good for these signals. So how do you act on that? Basically, you know that this is a level of importance. The trade fails, price closes with three candles below this. This is an indication that this uh, support has failed. What do you want to do? Basically just place a sell limit at this level and to find your stop loss and take profit you draw your Fibonacci as I said for sales you want your stop loss to be above the 50% and to give this a little room you see if we placed it at the 50% this would be right at the entry so I place it above the 38.2 here and I place my take profit at 127.2 looking at this this trade here paid for this loss and some more. I mean, beautiful trade. And let's say that you want to lock in some more profits. Uh, you want to trail your stop loss. What's a smart technique you can use for that? So what you can do then is add moving average exponential. And if we double click on this, make it white and input eight, we will use this as a trading stop. And the rule for this trading stop is you want a close above the line and then a move above the candlestick that closed above it. So as you can see here, using this as a trading stop, you could have taken some profits here and move your stop loss to break even and then let the rest of your trade trail here. And you have a close above the line here and then a move above it on the next candle. So you see here, you could have doubled your profits. 
by trailing your stop loss here. So that's a very cool technique for you guys to experiment with. Uh, if you're a beginner, I recommend you stick with the strict entry stop loss and take profit rules and uh, just continue analyzing the chart here. You get a sell signal here. So what you want to do is your entry. We have our stop loss here. We draw the Fibonacci to see if it's a good stop loss. Could be too tight, so let's move it above the 50% just to give it some more room. And we place our take profit at 127.2. Remove the Fibonacci and you see here that this distance here is still bigger than the risk. Price goes right in to our take profit target. And this is a nice win as well. So always take some profits off. So for example, let's say that you use half your position for the first take profit and you use the rest for a trailing stop loss then you would close half of the trades here made a nice profit and then the rest when you have the trailing stop loss close right here then you see here if we remove this what i talked about is after we had a sell signal and this flat line of the sell signal is resistance when that breaks and price come back to that level so resistance becomes support you can enter on a limit order right at this level so your entry is there you draw your fibonacci place your stop loss here your take profit at 127.2 so i can double click on this so you can see the fib retracement settings i have basically the zero line 50 percent level the 0 0.5 the 38.2 is 0 0.382 100% line is 1 and the 127.2 is 1.272. So our entry, stop loss and take profit. Let's remove this. And you see here, this is a risk reward trade of at least 3 to 1. So for every dollar you risk, you make 3. And just look at this entry to the pip and right into your take profit. If you trailed your stop loss, you're using the EMA 8 and you see that you don't have a close below the line here and you basically just trail your stop loss here and when you see a strong move here like this one this this is really running away here so if you get a candlestick pattern like this inverted hammer here you can trail your stop loss up to that because you're already in such a huge profit and basically this trade here is a uh, 561 risk reward so huge win and the strict rules for the trailing is a close below and then a move below you would be out here on the trailing stop loss if you use the strict rules you get the buy signal here as well so entry most recent high and low our stop loss is below the signal our take profit is at 127.2 and i mean you see here beautiful trade positive risk reward you win more than you lose on the trade and yeah beautiful trading buy signal here entry on the next candle stop loss below let's see if the stop loss is at a good area yeah so it's below the 50 so in that case below the signal because that is support and we placed our take profit at 127.2 and you see here entry and boom right into your take profit beautiful trading i mean i'm so excited for you guys to start using this and i mean if you follow these rules and if you follow the techniques and strategies i will talk about in other training videos you're gonna do so so good results and you know i'm there for you so if you have any questions just let me know and uh, i will help you and just looking at this chart here waiting for the next signal so we get a sell signal here Basically what you want to do is most recent high and low and I will look at this swing here. So my entry would be here. I would place my stop loss 50% and I place my take profit at 127.2 and let's look at how this trade turns out. So we made a move down, we retraced again, but since we placed our stop loss above the 50% level which is very strong this trade is still intact let's see here okay so you have a new sell signal what you can do then is trail your stop loss or add to it and then you're out for a nice profit so beautiful trade here once again and you see if you use the trading stop loss you would be in this trade because this close above the line, but the next candle don't move above it. This close above, but the next candle don't move above it. 
then you have this the close above it and you would be out here if you use the trailing stop loss so i mean you have one two three four five big profits with positive risk reward and a small loss oh i mean you even had six because we took this trade as well on the support becomes resistance so six wins and just one loss using simple rules and um, i mean i can't wait for you guys to really learn this and learn how to use it correctly thank you so much for watching i i really hope you take advantage of this and follow my rules if you need anything let me know and i'm there for you i want to help you master this system thank you so much have a great day